Well, prosecutors showed videos, they say, of Seleni, of Seleni uh, videotaping himself as he breaks into the victim's apartment, as he performs sex acts on himself, and as he leaves fluids, they say, behind, not just on the victim's belongings, but in items that she was to consume. Ryan Seleni doesn't say a word as he heads into court, but he watched videos prosecutors showed a judge as part of the case against him. Videos prosecutors say he narrates as early as October, seeming excited that he broke into the victim's apartment, learned her name by rifling through her mail, and stole her personal items. You saw increased frequency of, of visits to the victim's home, uh, burglaries of the victim's home over the course of that period, and increasing levels of intrusion into her home and into her privacy. The case began in March when the victim found a cell phone charger in the wall. Only the charger was a recording device placed there, prosecutors say, by Ryan Seleny. Evidence shown to a judge today goes back months before that camera was placed in the victim's home, they say. Multiple videos from Seleny's phone, prosecutors say, were shown. Police testified that it's Selene's voice in the videos, that you see his shoes multiple times, and you see his face, including this image. They say video shows him talking to the victim as he placed an item in his mouth. He's innocent or proven guilty. We'll have his day in court, and that's all we can say. The defense argued Selene's face wasn't visible in all videos, but the videos, according to prosecutors, are of Selene performing sex acts on himself and leaving fluids behind on the victim's items. Or in beverages in her apartment. Police say Selene narrates a video shot from his own bedroom as he looks towards the victim's apartment. The person on the recording say he really wants to know what the victim is doing and quote, tomorrow I'll get my spy cameras. I'll set them up. I'll get some spy shots on you, baby girl. I'm so excited. I can't wait. If anyone suspects that they may have had contact with him, um, suspects that he could have been in their home, we, we certainly encourage them to reach out to the police, even if it's just, if it's just an inkling and they think it just could have been. Uh, that's something that we could investigate. Now, prosecutors have not said if any other women have come forward, if they have information as to when or any of the other cameras could have been placed. Keep in mind, prosecutors say that they did recover packaging for four different cameras, but only recovered three cameras in Selene's uh, home when they executed a search warrant. They also say that they are going through hundreds of hours of uh, videos, hundreds of pieces of evidence. They talked about a bin that was found in the apartment in Selene's bedroom that had trinkets. They're trying to match them up and see if those items were obtained legally. So if you have information on this case, police want to hear from you. In the meantime, more charges against Selene include burglary and endangerment charges. Reporting live in King of Prussia, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News. A lot of work for police. Deanna, thank you.